Hello gamers of the Game Report. I have a lot of information to go over today and I really hope you guys enjoy it. I'll be listing about eight different things of information and also uh so this includes like salt and gp officer vi victorious elise a lot of champion skins coming out etc so um also at the same time i'm running an rp contest for this video uh, all you guys have to do to enter is leave a like subscribe and leave a comment rp and you'll be entered to win um you can win 7200 RP if this video reaches 2,000 likes, and once it does, I'll be messaging the winner privately. Uh, so now to go over the information, this video is not about the gameplay, but about the updates and skins coming out. So to start, there's Sultan GP Officer Vi, uh, Victorious Elise, some nerfs to champions, a uh, Nocturne splash, uh, vi uh, updated splash art, a new retro login skin and some new mastery icons. I'll be showing you all this throughout the video, and I really hope you guys stay with me here. There's a lot of uh, t other skins that have been teased, and hopefully they will be coming. Uh, so I'll start with the, uh, the Vi model. So this, uh, I'll get this a little bit smaller. So what you are going to see, wait, let me minimize this. This is going to be the Vi splash art, I mean model. So you see that's Officer Vi. It's similar to Officer Caitlin. Pretty damn cool. I'll be now showing you her in game. This is uh, some pictures from Surrender 20. Shout out to them. I'll be shrinking this down for you guys. All right. So here you see uh, Officer Vi in game. That's just her standing there. Pretty pretty amazing in game. Honestly, having her and Officer Caitlin on the same team, I'm excited. I already have the Officer Caitlin, so this would be a good addition to my skin lineup. Uh, Vi is one of my newly uh, played champions that I am really enjoying. I like her jungle, and uh, I like her clear time and her her long range ganks or counter ganks are amazing. So this is her from the front, her back, her side, and the other side. It's amazing, honestly. This skin makes me want it right now. Come on, Riot, release it now. Don't, don't take your time. Um, in this one, she has the um, it cops that use it to detain uh, unruly. What are they called? Criminals. So they have that stick there. You see. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, I think it's a baton. Leave a comment what you guys know that is. Uh, next, I'll be showing you guys Victorious Elise. So these skins are out on PBE right now and um, are, f are for, obviously, skin testing and to finish the extra particles and stuff. So supposedly this skin doesn't have uh, an ultimate or spiderling form yet. So, or spiderlings yet, so we'll have to wait to see. But this is the model. You see the spiderlings, they have finished the model. They just haven't put it in-game on PBE. Um, she looks absolutely amazing. So any how this works is anybody who got gold uh, the Season 3 is getting the Victor gold or higher. It's getting the Victorious Elise skin and champion. If you don't own the champion, you get both. Uh, for me, I am now gold 3. So I will be getting the Victorious Elise, and I cannot wait. It was one of the main reasons why I got to gold, or why I tried to get it. So, pretty damn amazing in-game. They they spent time on this skin. It's similar to Victorious Janna and how amazing it looked. Uh, this next one is Victorious Elise from different angles. I'll be getting it ready for you guys. I'm getting quicker at this. Whoa. Okay, so this is her front, her side, her back, and her side. Amazing, amazing, absolutely amazing. Now, I'm not sure what this is. Maybe you guys can tell me. But there's more than one Victorious Elise. It might be when she transforms. Or I'll get that up in a sec. Because you know how I told you that the Spiderlings aren't done yet? And the transformation isn't done? So I think this is her temporary <laughs> ultimate with Spiderlings. You'll get attacked by three Victorious Elises. Wow. But that... Yeah, that makes, because you can have it at level 1, right? So, cool. I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully, they actually make real spiderlings, like I showed you in the model. 
Uh, then there's also Sultan GP, and GP skins are always great. GP's amazing. He's a really easy to play champion, and Crit Plank is just too too good. Tank Plank, Crit Plank, all of them. There we go. So this is Sultan GP, very similar to Sultan uh, Trindamir. I guess they went along the same lines with the Scimitar kind of blade, and he is amazing. He still keeps his pirate look, but he's also a Sultan. <laughs> now in this next one is his abilities and recall and different, uh, well, not different animations, just his recall and stuff. So I'll get this on screen. So as you see, that's just GP standing. He has his gun and a cemetery. He's Sultan, Trind uh, Sultan GP. I even got it mixed up. That's his ultimate. It doesn't look like how Special Forces looks like. That's when he uses his E. This is his parlay Q. And that's his recall. I think it's missing the eating oranges, but it's okay. We know what he what he does when he eats oranges. Pretty cool. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to that one too. Now this is one of the coolest things about this update. Nocturne splash art. So let me get this. This looks absolutely incredible and right you did a really good job if you're watching this. Look at that! He looks beast! He looks so great. I cannot wait to well it doesn't really change anything, but like to have that as his thing, it represents him a lot better and maybe that'll mean he'll get a gameplay in-game rework um, this next one is the uh, new uh, login animation it's a retro login animation let me just get this ready <clears throat> so much stuff to show you guys I, I make I like making these videos where they're longer include all the information that I've missed this week and uh, you guys seem to enjoy them more too so League of Legends if you guys missed my last one it included uh, Champion nerfs, um, it also had, uh, I think, the Ramus texture update, the um, Hammerdinger and Zerath rework, and I think the Sivir visual upgrade, so that's all amazing stuff that you should go check out, because it still hasn't been released on live, so all of it is still new, and you guys could go check it out. So that's the new retro login screen. Um... It's similar to the old beta login. It's kind of strange. So this next thing is um, new mastery icons, which when I say that, you guys are like, wait, they're changing icons? No, they're adding new mastery icons because of uh, Season 4 coming. So they're getting ready already. They've been actually preparing for Season 4 longer than we even know. So as you see, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's similar to last season where they remove some of the really unused masteries, remove some of the overpowered masteries, and some that are duplicates of the new ones or similar, and bring out 14 new ones. And maybe we'll just add all of these and make really long mastery trees, and it might be amazing. All right. That Olaf crushed me. Because he switched lanes from top to to mid. Uh, there's, I made a video about this already, but Dunkmaster Darius is a skin that's coming. Um, if I can try to get it up for you guys, give me a sec. I thought it'd be easier to get the. Also, if you guys didn't know, some skins that are coming back are the Howering skins from last season, and a bunch of the other vintage skins are going to be coming back in their season. So whatever time that they came back in, um, or whatever time they came out, is the time that they're going to be coming back. So this one, I'll show you guys. This, wait. This is Dunkmaster Darius in his early works of someone drawing it. Yeah, so it's basically, he's in a Noxus uh, outfit for basketball. He has he uses a basketball net as his uh, thing to dunk you. And supposedly in, some of his in one of his animations, he has three different ways to dunk you, which is pretty damn cool. Um, in 
the game files of PB, there was Jade Empress Karma and Special Forces Misfortune. Which I'm not sure if you guys uh, know, but the Jade Empress Karma, I'm pretty sure, came out uh, instead as the actual regular Karma skin. And they may not come out with the <clears throat> Jade Empress Karma, but it's okay. Special Forces Misfortune is going to be, uh, I guess, similar to, uh, to Special Forces Gangplank, but obviously it'll be Misfortune. It's more of a Femme Fatale theme, and uh, I just want to show you guys this because this is pretty interesting. It's the Chinese art for for Misfortune. It just to show you guys how much cooler the Chinese art is and how much more detailed it is than the American and a eh, North American. Uh, so you see here that is the regular splash art for Misfortune. Incredible. Like, just look at these skins. Why do we get the normal ones? And then the, they get these. Oh my. <laughs> Special Forces Misfortune. Looking forward to it, if it ever comes out. Um, supposedly, in the Special Forces GP, there was... Um, Where is it? I'll show you guys. Give me a sec. Okay. There's a silhouette for the Special Forces uh, Misfortune. But down here, if you guys can see that, that is Special Forces Misfortune. And then one more one thing before I finish showing you guys that. I'll show you guys the Chinese art version of these skins. It's incredible. I love League. <laughs> How about you guys? Okay, here we go. So that is the first. It's just the classic skin. This one is Spooky Gangplank. And that one is Minuteman Gangplank. Looks badass. Right, guys? Let's watch. Do I get him? Do I get him? Mm, poison not strong enough. But this game, it was really funny because we we actually won after because uh, I started doing really well with Teemo. And it was great. Uh, some things that I didn't make videos about was <clears throat> there's Battlecast and Nivea that people have talked about will be one of the Battlecast skins. We just had Creator Victor, which is a Battlecast skin come out. He can actually be seen in the uh, bottom left corner of Battlecast Garner uh, spot shirt. Now, or no, sorry, it's the other way around. In the bottom left of Creator Victor's artwork, you can see Battlecast Skarner, so you know it's a Battlecast skin. <clears throat> and that's how you know Battlecast Skarner's coming. There have been pictures about Battlecast Skarner before. I'll try to find one for you guys quickly. Oh, oh, I'm crushing that, Siobhan. Am I gonna get it? Nope. Almost. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'll show you guys how these fit together if this picture will go into view Give me a sec view image that Image is gone. Okay, let's try the other one Yep, that's a better picture. Okay Let me just shrink it down <clears throat> This is Battlecast Garner if you notice he he gets his limbs replaced with mechanical parts, and it resembles Battlecast exactly. So we can really expect a Battlecast Garner to come in, to come out. I I look forward to that as well. Uh, there's also Dark Crusader Mordekaiser. It was leaked, but it's currently on hold, and uh, we don't know what's going to happen with it. This I'll get out in a sec. So this is battle. I mean, is Dark Crusader Mordekaiser? Why have you not brought this out yet, right? That is amazing, and I used to main Mordekaiser mid because his laning with CS was so high. Like I could farm so much on him that. Um, so I just wanted to see what was happening. 
I think the vein cleans it up. Come on, Kane, get it! Come on, Kane! And he gave up because it went into the brush. Alright, back to full screen. And, uh. Amazing. Uh, Mordekaiser may have a weak early game, but his farming is incredible, which basically gives him a strong early game that leads into an extremely strong late game. Except he doesn't have any CC, so that's what his problem is. Uh, there's two skins uh, that were mentioned in the files of PBE that are Cyber Ninja Zed and Proxy Zed. Can't wait to look. Can't wait to look forward to those. Um, there's also supposedly a new Diana skin. And it's in progress. I don't think we know the name yet. The skin's in progress, and that's all the info he can dish out. That was from Iron Stylus. Iron Stylus loves being on the farms. And I believe that's all that we have. Oh, wait. There's three more. So there's Dragon Master Swain. Which I'll show you a post confirming that there's Dragon Master Swain. And I'll also talk about Queen Sejuani. And Battle Priestess Soraka, which I think was scrapped and then replaced by Celestine Soraka, so forget that. And we'll go straight to Queen Sejuani. Oh, so Queen Sejuani was actually what they turned, um, when they did her relaunch and gave her a new splash art, they gave her the, um, the Queen Sejuani look. And that's what you see now on Sejuani as her regular skin. So then that is all, except for this Dragon Master thing won't load for me for some reason. So I'll try to get it on Google. And that will be the last thing, and then I'll just commentate the rest of this gameplay with you guys, because it was a good turnaround for a game. It's incredible. Alrighty, there are pictures. This is amazing. You'll see. This is Dragon Master Swain. Bring it out, Riot. Bring this freaking skin out. Alright, and now to commentate. I'm Teemo, and I'm last hitting those minions. Now I'm rushing mid because I see so many mid lane. Come on, team, we gotta get this mid. Aw, oh, they took our tower. They took out our Lee Sin. Well, at least I can defend this tower. La trying to last it a bit, but I have to push it out. Place a shroom. And I didn't explode it. Wow, I'm a terrible Teemo. Right now, my score... I think I'm 0-3, and it's a huge turnaround. You notice we're 7-14, to 14 and we win this. This w gameplay is actually Tower Destroyed already 10 before, because uh, we did TDA 10, and we screwed up, and it had no audio. So I uploaded it, lost two subs, deleted the video, and here is the gameplay from it. You guys never got to see it, where now I'm showing you, and we redid TDA 10, and you guys really enjoyed it. So now... Going, going top to try to backdoor a bit. <clears throat> try to get this nidally. I'm faster than you, Nid. I got you. No, I don't. I'm going to be giving up soon. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I still get the nidally out of this. It's like three-man gang. Can I still get the nidally kill? Because she turns around right here. She's really dumb. Yeah, that was what gave me that kill. And that Olaf. I've seriously hated him this game. Hmm, I wonder if you guys want me to skip ahead a bit or show you the entire gameplay of how I turn this game around. So I finally reach my Rabdons on Teemo. That's a huge power spike when you hit Rabdons, just like almost any AP carry. Um, I, I'm building him full AP because Shroom damage, E damage, Q damage is incredible. Um, I'm 107 CS, so I'm not falling behind that much, and that's the reason we're able to come back in this game. All of us have really high CS. So they just took out Ash at bot lane right under the tower, and now will Kane survive that Shivana gank? Oh, the Jukes! He didn't grab the lantern, but the condemn, the Jukes, the vain, the vain, uh, mechanics so broken. <laughs> Timo goes mid. All the CS is taken by Ali Sun. Now we're just going to push up some mid lane while they're bought. You can see them heading mid right now. But we do it anyways. Because 
we we the reason the other reason we started winning this game is we started just pushing every lane and really like juggling the lanes over and over again. Teemo Shroom's too strong. Did you see how much damage it did to the Olaf? Yeah, yeah, lantern. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yep, so then I think I rotate down, get some extra farm, then I go down to bot lane or defend mid, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, you see this? I'm kiting wraiths. The best player in the game can kite wraiths. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just kidding around, guys. Oh man, that Thresh, he made the worst mistake, but oh man, that Thresh is tanky! And I made a mistake. Run, Tato! Oh, the kite through a shroom! Uh, I might get him. No, I won't. I got the Thresh, though, because those shrooms do a lot. Now that Olaf lives again. That Olaf was my bane of existence that entire game. If he didn't rotate to mid lane instead of the normal mid, I would have been having a pretty easy mid. But he switched from top lane because I was crushing the mid so bad, and then the top lane was getting crushed while he was playing Olaf. So they had to switch. Oh, that Lee Sin. Oh, shit. He let him live, and he flashes for the kill. Now is he going to get Shivana or is he going to die? Is he Get away! Hey, she hit a shroom! Kill her! Kill her! Oh. She's kind of fed. Forgot about that. Do you guys think SK Telecom will get their commemorative skins for their uh, championship, world championship win? Uh, League has verified it actually two days ago that uh, SK Telecom will be getting their own commemorative skins. Yeah, I made a video about it on the 5th of October. I knew it was coming. I did it the day after they won the Worlds. And I it was a great gameplay. I mean, a great commentary. You guys should go watch if you missed the SK Telecom match versus uh, Royal. You should go watch that video. It basically sums up everything and tells you who the winning team comp was and what skins, what the skins will be for uh, SKT. I picked it exact. Jax, Jax Jarvan for Zyra Gragas and Corky. Anyway, how many of you have heard of the uh, new Valve uh, Steam box that's coming out? The new console. It, it seems pretty pretty insane. Alrighty, let's go. Getting that blue buff because I'm already half mana. <laughs> oh yeah, I blind the blue buff so he misses me. I, I check my score too much. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's what I do. I do that actually during the game. Gotta clear that bot lane. What was I trying to do? Place it over the wall? That was a fail. Oh, it's because they were dragoning and I wanted vision. Oh, yeah. So I warded right there and then didn't go in. And now... Oh, I get to pick off the ash! Yeah, free kills! Free kills! I've got her. Pfft. Dead. Next one. This is where my Teemo game, I think, got a huge turnaround where I just got free kills. That is a kill steal. Sorry about that. <laughs> Double kill. Oh my god, I'm so dead. This bitch, but she's dead too. Oh, the Teemo plays. The Teemo plays. Triple kill. Triple kill. I actually thought I was going to die there. I started laughing at her. I'm like, yeah, okay, good. I'm 5-5 five five now. The game finally turned around. It's that Rabadons. Now let's go for... I was debating on what items to buy, if you notice. And I guess I'm going for a Leandri's Torment. Wanted some tankiness out of the items I could have bought. That was the tankiest thing I could have bought. See? Uh, haunting gas is a good item to get if you're worried about dying. The other item, technically Zonia's Abyssal Scepter. Get some tankiness, that's also AP. Make sure you get a Void Staff so you have the high uh, magic pen so that those tanks literally get melted as if they're a squishy 80 carry. And, uh, my full build, I think, was Rabadon's, Leandri's Torment, uh, Zonia's, Abyssal, and, uh, it was either a Rylai's or, um, or a Void Staff. I, I, it was definitely a Void Staff. I needed the, the magic pen, and I already had armor and... Magic resist where I don't need a GA or anything else. Or a Rylize I don't even need. It would have been useful, but my shroom is already slow anyways, and I only have one other spell to actually slow people. 
The dumb oracles. They still walk into the next one, though, because they're dumb. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah. That Olaf takes no damage, though. And here I died. Bad mistake by me. I got caught by a hook at Hook City. But at least my team's there. This Thresh was making plays. Making plays. He just saved a turret almost single-handedly. Like, the Zed was there, but of course... That Thresh just threw himself in there. Look at that hook. Oh, he goes in. That wasn't the best thing to do. And look at that. He died. Overextended into a fight. Making the vein as well get caught. Because he came in to save the Thresh with a condemn. Lee Sin's like, I'm gonna make a play. I'm gonna make a play. And he can't. Because there's five of them pushing in on our mid in him. Right here it looks pretty bad. But I get up and let's see what I do. After making a crucial mistake, let's see what I do to fix it. Oh, missed the volley. Getting that CS as my Zed takes all of it. <laughs> oh, that ward. I got my own wards, bro. That team of shrooms. Uh-oh. Their team's just roaming in our jungle. Ah, uh, Mr. Hook. Walk into it. Yes! Watch how much they take off that shroom when they walk into it, finally. I'm gonna live. No, I'm not. Another vital mistake. Wow, I, I screwed up majorly this game. I'm sorry. But how we actually still win this game is hilarious. It's a great game. Look at that vein. Four of us down, and let's see what they do against a Thresh with five of them on the on the bot lane. I'm just checking things out, checking scores, checking who's doing what, how I'm comparing to other people. Then I look at my money, I'm like, ooh, I can buy a uh, Amplifying Dome for my Leandre's Torment. Ba-boom! Look at that, and some extra health pots, because if you have extra money, why would you save it if that's going to help you stay alive longer? So I go... Well, since you guys can save the lane, I'll go top and I'll try to backdoor since we got to start pushing the lanes and causing um, some type of pressure on them or they're just going to easily keep pushing us, taking our stuff and taking towers and ending the game. Yep. The most room is all good at pushing. Look at that. All see us gone. Oh, no one's showing on the map, so I'm like, okay, I'll keep pushing this lane. Five seven zero, pretty shitty that I've taken every kill. Hundred and forty five CS though, not bad. It's like what twenty thirty minutes in, it's pretty bad for that. But at the same time, the enemy team's highest CS is like one forty, so we're ahead. We have three people I think higher than their entire team in CS. Maybe yeah, three of us. It was uh Kane, uh, the Vane, and the the Zed. All three of us have the more CS than the enemy. Just pushing this lane, they're pushing mid really heavy, so I go, well, instead of trying to take a tower, I'm going to come back. See, I make I make these calls in my head, I'm like, it's always better to go save your mid and hib over pushing a backdoor top lane of, se of an inner turret. It's not worth it, because obviously in hib, worth more. So I come back just in time. Here's where we make a big play, I'm pretty sure. And then I get speared in the face after getting like a double or triple kill. I love this game. Loved it. You guys are going to see some plays. Here it happens, that hook! The the Thresh alt was used. The Thresh is down. The th Our Thresh alt is used. Shavana. Oh, that Olaf already has gotten a double kill. Taking out our vein. It's just me and the Thresh now. Thresh, save me. He's getting targeted. So I turn around. I'm like, free pokes. Free pokes, Olaf. Keep going. Yeah, we got him. Definitely. Now the now that we just... Oh, yeah. Well, I get him now. And then I run away. There's Nidalee. Oh, wait. I never got him. Oh, uh, maybe I went crazy to get him. And that's when I get speared. I don't remember. Here's the spear. Ah. Uh... But that chemo shroom that I placed is what kills him. I just get it in time of it. I I get out of the shop. Everyone's telling me, "Look, you got him!" What? My chemo shroom? 
Too strong! Too strong! APT mo! And then I think we say it in all chat, we're like, Oh, four for... Three, Timo Shrew, AP Timo! Ah, we're going crazy, because that was pretty epic. And then Nidalee can't push very much, because she's AP. So She could have tried to take the inhib, but she wouldn't have got in time, and it would have just healed back up. And here's the exact turning point of the game, where now we start taking a lead. Well, we're not ahead, but I'm saying we start winning fights, we start pushing, and I believe they don't get that inhib, and we win the game. That Lee Sin almost didn't want to give our Vayne the blue buff. He was complaining about it in the Skype call. And I'm like, dude, why would he not give it to you? A Lee Sin? Vayne. Who should have it? Obviously Vayne. Uh, we were just not doing this that great this game. But we won. That's what matters. Timo Shroom over Walt. Come on. Damn it. See, because I knew they were there. I have these weird six cents, but it was actually better that I didn't place it in there because they have an oracles. And then, boom! Take that damage, Nid. Quarter of your health. A third of your health gone. Oh, the teleport in. Who sees that? Run away. Walk them into more shrooms. I've had these set up for how long, guys? Yeah, you you remember when I placed these in the last two, two team fights ago? I had those shrooms placed. The Miss Ashalt. Now we can really turn this. We can turn it. If they hit that shroom, you better go in. Okay, we'll just keep kiting them through our jungle, through our shrooms. That's going to be a good, a good... Oh, look at that Thresh. Already half health and we haven't even fought him. Oh, that Thresh lantern way too in. He needs to throw his lanterns a bit better. But... Look at the free damage I'm getting on this Thresh. He's like, oh crap, I made a mistake. One down. Oh. And that Lee Sin's just crushing their mid. We're like, okay, Lee Sin, keep going. We'll, we won't let them be. We won't let them be. We'll chase this. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. We're, we got him. Hook. Done. Next one. Dragon. We just got mid tower. Let's take another objective. We're playing it like SKT or Najin Black Sword. One objective after another. We are royal. <laughs> just kidding, guys. Okay. Uh Oh, oh, Thresh, come on, play with me. No. That Thresh is face-checking a bush. Oh, he got hooked. Not a good time to go in, because it's only Thresh, though. Thresh and me. Thresh goes down, because I couldn't have done anything. There was, like, two of them, the Thresh and the Ash, and then the Shavana coming in. So 3v2, even if I came in. There was no point. It was a bad hook. Bad placement. Those tea mushrooms do a lot. Oh yeah, good job, Ash. Hit your alt on an on a Lee Sin. Good job. This is where we get it. Vayne gets away. Uh, I think I let the inhib go down because it's better to let it go down than all of us die. I had no mana. Um, getting my void stuff because I'm not doing enough damage. So we did lose the inhib, but then we still win the game. This is a crazy game. It goes back and forth over and over again. We were still making mistakes, even at this point in the game, but so were they. I think I'm 8-8 eight, eight now. I'm coming back from my 0-3 start. Oh, I saw the Ash. We caught her. Get her. Yes, the slow. It's dead. I let him get it because he had his ult on it already. He burned an ult for it. He deserves the kill. Baited into the shroom. And now let's get the kills. Is closing in. Do you see how much AoE they just took? We just melted their team. I think this is where we just heavy push mid. That's an ace. Go mid. Go mid. Go mid. Gommel. Get on my level. Push the mid. I'll get the back minions, you guys. Get the front. We got this shit. JJ bros. See? One team fight. It's all it needed. Them chasing after losing their best champion, Ash first in a fight because she got caught they should have just left it waited till the ash came back up but instead they chose to do a 5v4 or a 4v4 and we had no thresh they had no ash we had an, uh, an advantage still though and we also have vein mechanics like game 
one more team fight like that and we win the game. That Thresh backdoor though, why is he backdooring? Shouldn't Zed be backdooring? Yeah, no one understood why. He didn't let my shroom explode. Damn it. Thresh is just pushing mid against in Italy. <sighs> and then he backed. He used his home guards to get out of base. I don't. Or no, he just walked out. Come on. That was an enemy Thresh. Sorry, my mistake. They're trying to Baron. Oh, is this where we Baron steal into the end of the game? Where we ace them, get a Baron, and end it. Yeah, they were trying to bait it. Look at my team initiating this. I'm going to come in and do some heavy cleanup on this. I'm coming, guys. That's one for one. That's two for one. I come in. I'll save you, Thresh. Oh, he lives. That's three. That's four. Oh, wait, it's that. We got the Baron. It wasn't... Oh, and I grabbed the Lantern for the save. Oh. Do I get him? This Olaf just won't die. Oh, but the Lee Sin's cleaning up in the back. Where did the Lee Sin come from? <laughs> He's a freaking Diamond Plat player. He's so OP. All game, we were kind of complaining that the Lee Sin wasn't doing enough, and then he did that, and we're like, yes, yes, Lee Sin, you're, you're God. You're a God. He's 5 and 10, and he's a plat 2 or something. I don't even understand. Those Teemo Shrooms, though. Doe. Where do we take the win? I think it's the next team fight then. I thought... We did get the Baron and killed their entire team and still had three of us up though, so clearly... Uh, two for five and Baron was the worst thing they could have done. 200 CS. Highest in game. By, by a little. <laughs> They're all grouping mid again. As I backdoor. I hope you guys are enjoying the gameplay because this was a, a, an amazing gameplay and I ran out of info to talk to you guys about. I told you about all the stuff that was coming up and uh, I got a Morella Nomicon. I don't know if you guys noticed but I wanted to stop some of the like lifesteal that Olaf, that Ash, Nidalee, and uh, Shivana are getting. Wow, he boxed really early on that. Let him go. He wasted his ult for a Q. That's what I told my friend. And he's like, okay, we won't chase him. I'm like, yep. That team also from... So much damage. Another one here. Uh, caught them, I caught them dragoning. Come on, chase me. Oh, he blew up my shroom on impact. Wow, am I going to get caught here? Am I going to get caught here? Yep. My mistake. But they hit the shroom. Oh, half of uh, half of an Italy south. And Zed alts her. Oh, the Zed lives. Keep my Doran's ring. Watch the fight. He does, but our Lee Sin and Thresh are up, which will keep us from getting pushed in at all. They'll just go back, save our inhib again. Look at that juke. You got the jukes. Oh, this Lee Sin. They're going for the inhib. Stop them, Thresh. He's got it, most likely. I think we actually let them get it, yeah, because ooh, one inhib isn't going to change the game. 
It's not worth them dying and then being able to take Nexus Towers, right? My friend's just asking me if I'm done making the video. <laughs> oh yeah, guys, I forgot to explain. There's also Team Builder if you've made it this far into the video. Uh, my friend just men mentioned to me that I should make a video about this. So Team Builder is a new playlist that they're adding for League. They don't know if they're going to make it ranked or not yet. But basically, Team Builder, you'll be able to queue into the role champion and position with Ruins and Mastery pages and Summoner, uh, summoner Spells that you want to use on Summoner's Rift. So you could set up a lobby where you want either, let's say, two, two double, uh, to two, have two junglers on your team, or all five mid. Or you could have a regular meta where it's one top lane, one jungle, one mid, and duo bot. So it's allowing customizability to queue and more teamwork oriented uh, instead of fo like having a team where they all want top and let's just say they, they made this example what if one day you want uh you want to just go top lane renekton but your team keeps telling picking top before you were calling it or just auto locking top and then you can't pick it well they are going to add team builder which i'll show you this little team builder so you can select the position, the role, the runes and masteries, and the summer spells, and what champion. This, I'm really looking forward to. It adds a lot of uh, playability uh, and customizability to playlists. Uh, it is a new redesign of champion select, and it might replace... It's an independent queue at first, and it's not going to touch any of the existing ones, but it may in the future... If it works well, it may replace them. Yeah. And will you have long queue times? Well, not really because every, there's a percentage of players that prefer to play support, a percentage of players that prefer to play jungle, and they're all around the same percent. So it should be the same queue times, except for that you'll actually have a full pre-med team. That's amazing. Because it's really hard to get a pre-med team that yeah, wants different roles. And you all sync together to make a perfect team. And no more troll games where you'll have to do five man mid because some people auto lock mid and say, no, no, I'm going mid. No, I'm going mid. Okay, five mid. No, you actually get to choose if you want to do that now. We do win this game, right? Like me and Vayne are down. Can my team save the base? Definitely. So long ass gameplay. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh man. Come on, Zed, do something. There's the Thresh. The Zed made a mistake. He's gonna die. But the Lee Sin's coming in. He did get the Ash, though, so it was worth it. A Zed for the Ash? Worth. Worth. Now I cut. Now that, that Thresh making plays on that Olaf. Lee Sin! I get up in 10 seconds, but the Vayne mechanics are coming. Goodbye, Olaf. Next one. Here's Vayne. The Vayne cleanup. Did you see how much that hit for? Nid got melted. That squishy uh, fucking AP Nid with uh, Spirit Visage has no armor. Yeah, we just got four of them down. This is where we win the game. Or at least get one in him. Uh, they're pushing mid. Look at this. We still didn't push in. I want to freaking speed this up a bit. Okay. So now we are grouping up. It was literally just after pushing out the lanes. We grouped up mid because that was the lane that we lost the inhib in. And we figure, hey, let's push that lane. And we're playing it like, uh, I think it's SKT where they lost the bot lane. and Or it was... Uh, 
Fnatic and x when they lost their bot lane, they pushed out that lane and actually went for the win and literally won within five minutes of pushing that lane. We just took the mid turret. Now we're, we're pushing this mid. There's no way they can stop us from taking this in him. Let's keep going. Oh, we picked off the Olaf. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. I flashed for it. I didn't get it. But we turn around. There, the and whole enemy team is behind us. I get one kill on Ash. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Hit the Thresh. Hit the Thresh. Don't let the Nid kill me. Don't let the Nid kill me. Yes, double. Oh, we got the freaking Thresh. We got the Olaf. I'm coming back. That's an ace. Triple kill. My Shroom killed the last guy. And there's the there's the GG. I just skipped a little part. Of it. Not, not a big deal, guys. Don't worry about it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, you saw how no matter, even if you're losing a game, you can easily turn it around. All you have to do is don't give up. Teamwork OP. And I will see you guys next time. I'll wait till we finish the game. We were freaking out at this point. We're like, we can win any game. We can win any game. This is insane. And have a good day, guys. I just turned off. <laughs> My team told me to. See you guys. Wait for the victory. Oh yeah, we surrender at the end too, just as a troll. See you.